this is on here. Um, I don't know if anybody's seen the viral video, Dear Fat People. And fat shaming. Who came up with that? That's fucking brilliant. Yes, shame people who have bad habits until they fucking stop. Yes, that video. Um, if you haven't seen it, I'm going to leave a link below so you can watch it in its entirety. But this is my response video to that Dear Fat People video. Um, I, believe the, I believe the YouTuber name is Nicole Abor, if that's how you pronounce her name. But you can go check that video out and um, yeah, but anyway, I'm going to have my take on it. Um, there's a way, sometimes it's not what you say, it's how you say it to people. Um, she has every right to express how she feels and her frustrations and things like that with fat people. But I'm going to get my intake on it. And being that I'm fat, overweight, uh, plus size, all that jazz myself. I think she was coming off as being funny or something. I don't know if she's a comedian or anything like that. It wasn't really funny to me as I watched it. But I do understand some of the points as far as health. Yeah, we do have to take better care of our bodies. Because me, being 40, I can't carry a lot of weight on me. Like I could if I was in my 20s. I just, I just can't because in your 40s, you really feel it. You feel all the aches and pains and, and the um, swellings numbness sometimes in certain areas and things like that um being prone to more injuries and things being that you're older at you know 40. so as far as me i have taken made better choices as far as my dieting and lifestyle is concerned um, uh, eating out all the time um, that's how I became big from eating at night, working at night, and then eating at night time, you know, at the wrong times and things like that. Sleep patterns, um, out of whack, and things like that. So over the years, yes, I've made some poor choices and I put on a lot of weight. Um, I've lost some of the weight. I have a long ways to go, but I came a long ways also. And um, because of my better choices as far as diet and lifestyle is concerned um i do feel more energetic i don't feel as tired and things like that like i used to uh, i feel like i could do more i could go like go further you know what i'm saying without feeling fatigued you know i used to feel fatigued all the time like for example i don't eat mcdonald's anymore you know, it's when I found out that, and I used to love their fries and their Big Macs, and um, I wasn't really into drinking soda like that unless it was ginger ale or something clear. But that used to be my thing. But now, you know, since I found out the meat was questionable, there was a video that was out when they did a 30 day test, and the fries and the burgers and everything stayed the same and didn't rot and everything like that. Imagine that staying in your body like that, and it's not digesting, you know, that's a, that's prone to a lot of problems, a lot of health problems that I really don't want. Yeah, I'm making better choices right now, but as far as that video, there are many, many people that feel the same way, and they, they're a lot worse, you know, they could be really mean. Especially someone that's like that's skinny and even some fat people, you know, you may have somebody that's skinny that at one point maybe like you may think it's a friend, but as soon as they mad at you, then you all kinds of fat this and that. That's the first thing they blurt out because that's the obvious. But what happens if that fat person moves the weight, then what? 
And then that shows how you really feel about that person. That will, I will question my friendship with that person or people like that. You know, it's 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 the certain like statements, it's the staring and things like that. It's rude. They're not helping at all. Some people actually think they're helping, but you're being mean. Some people use that as an excuse to be really mean and nasty. Being fat myself, I have to say, being, being big or plus size or anything like that, it's good to feel good in the skin you in. You know, instead of being open around being depressed, you know, it's good to feel good. Just feeling good about yourself, you know, the way you are as you're changing and evolving. But honestly, in fact, it's not really popular. It's not cool. There's nothing really sexy about it. It may be sex. Some people like it. Some people like it. But being like really, really big, it's not. There's certain things that like traveling, traveling could be very, very exhausting to someone that's extremely big, that's, you know, not used to moving around. It could be, it, it could be very exhausting to the point where that person don't want to go out anymore. You know what I'm saying? And then you got to deal with the stairs and people being mean, you know, and saying mean, nasty things or fat shaming the person. It doesn't really help at all. Try encouraging. You know, I seen what you call fat people like myself. I seen fat people bigger than me. That's over like three hundred or over three hundred mark. Um, not saying I'm three hundred pounds. I'm under that now. So I I was at one point, but I lost the weight. So I'm under three hundred. But I seen them come in the gym and I seen the stairs and I've heard the comments, but I'm like, but that person's making an effort. You tell a fat person to go to the gym and when they go to the gym, you still giving them a hard time. It's like, what? We can't win. We can't win any either way. So some people, a lot of times they say, oh, I care and I help you, but I'm helping you or whatever like that, but they're not. They like to feel superior because they're smaller and they're more the quote unquote desirable or they could get to travel and get on a plane and don't have to worry about paying for an extra seat or worry about the seat belt not clicking or they, they could go to amusement parks and they don't have to worry about being told to get off because you can't fit. You know what I'm saying? That's not cool. Being fat and being extremely bad, that's not really popular. Because you can't do it. You're limited to certain things. You know what I'm saying? You're limited to certain things. And in my, the point in my life that I am right now, um, no, I don't want no limitations. The things that I want to do, that I'm going to do, I can't carry around this weight. I have to lose it. And that's what I'm doing right now. Um, I haven't really got deep into it in this on this channel because I haven't really been making videos in a while. I've been busy, but I have been into geared into the more vegan lifestyle, and I'm loving it so far. Um, I'm, 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 there's certain things, you know, I'm weeding myself away. Like I don't eat pork no more at all. Oh, I don't eat pork. Um, I restrict my meats to um, once or maybe once every two weeks. I may have like a meat beef. But, you know, slowly but surely, I'm trying to transition into the vegan um, way of eating. Um, I don't, I rarely eat cheese. Like, if I have Maybe a sandwich or sub. I don't have them put like, you know, the yellow cheese on it. If I have any cheese, it'll probably be Swiss. Or maybe, um, I love mozzarella cheese. Things like that. Um, but 
the, the yellow cheese, I hardly to like never eat it. Um, I don't eat McDonald's like I said. If I do eat my, go in the McDonald's, it's to maybe eat their um to go get the it's called the smoothie. Either smoothie or a garden salad. But I haven't even when I, I haven't been, been in a McDonald's in a long time. Uh, and I really don't plan on doing that, but if I do is to get like the healthiest thing I could find because I refuse to die over foods that that just not meant for our bodies. Um, I'm slowly weaning myself away from shrimp and things like that. But yeah, um, I've noticed I feel a lot energized and um, my health is better, you know. Not saying I had health problems or anything like that. I never really had any health problems, um, even at my heaviest weight. But I could f I feel the difference in my body by changing eating things that's grown from it, everything that's more healthy. That's that's me. That's just me. I'm not telling anybody to do that, but it's more of a healthier, you know, lifestyle and choice for me. You know. Because, like, eating, I can't eat the way I did when I was younger. I can't eat um, greasy fried foods, you know, all the time and, and mac and mac and cheese and, all, and, and pastas and things like that. I can't do it anymore. I have to eat it in moderation now, so. But I'm not perfect, but I'm going to get there. And my plan is to... Um, once I fully transition into the vegan, the vegetarian, the vegetarian lifestyle, I want to go from there to transition to vegan, to eliminate meats and certain things. So that's the plan. It may work out, it may not work out, but the vegetarian lifestyle, I definitely, definitely want to stick with because I do like them eat meat and things like that and there's certain types of meats that you know but I'm not going to get into it right now uh, on that that will be a separate video but as far as what she said she had every right to express what she said um, freedom of speech and I have every right to respond um, I try to respond in a more respectful way you know, um, if you are fat shaming, fat shaming isn't cool at all. It's, you know, that's just a way of being mean to people and it doesn't work. It doesn't work at all. You could probably cause somebody to like become suicidal and then their blood will be on your hands. Well, you know, I didn't, I didn't tell them to get fat, eat until they fat. It's like, but you don't know that person may be going for. To get to that point a lot of times it ain't just about eating and putting food in your mouth a lot of times it's emotional it's spiritual it may be things that they've been been, been scarred um about in a spirit something that happened maybe in their childhood and it's scarred it for life so eating is a way to comfort themselves you know what i'm saying so you never know, you know, we got to be careful. Some people are just like assholes out here. They just want, they see a fat person and they don't feel, they feel shitty about themselves. So they want to make that person feel shitty because they're obviously fat. Instead of encouraging. Don't confuse encouraging and helping with being an asshole or a bitch. Okay? My fans and me. So, that's pretty mean. You're not going to be blessed that way for being mean. When you know in your heart, you, 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 you know, you're being a dick about, about things. Don't, don't do that. Don't do fat shaming. I don't encourage that at all. Watching that video, that Nicole lady, she kind of reminds me of Melissa Leo.
If you don't know Melissa Leo, she played Cookie on that movie Streetwalking back in the 80s. I'm going to leave, leave a link below of the Streetwalking trailer. She kind of reminds me of, of Cookie in there, but except Nicole have a lot more makeup on. But anyway, you know, that may be mean to some people, but hey, that's my opinion. Just saying. Anyway, that's my response video to Dear Fat People. You can leave your comments below. Please be respectful about your comments. If not, you will be blocked and deleted. Okay? Well, that's all I have to say for right now. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.